Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to do our first example of how to solve a first order linear non homogeneous equation using the method of variation of parameters. Wow, that's really a mouthful. But there's the equation y prime minus 2 over x times y equals x squared times the cosine of 3x. This is an equation in the form y prime plus some function of x times y is equal to some other function of x. There we go. So since it's that equation, we then know that the solution to that, y, will be equal to the product of some function of x called u times some other function of x called v, where we know that v is the solution to the homogeneous part of the equation. So if we let r of x, r of x equals 0, then v will be the solution to the homogeneous part of the equation. So v is the solution. to y prime plus some function of x times y equals zero, which is the homogeneous part of the equation, which means that v must therefore equal e to the minus integral of f of x dx. All right, so now that we know what v is equal to, well, at least in theory, now let's go ahead and see what v will be equal to for this particular equation, because here we know that f is minus two over x, right? So we know where? In this case, f is equal to minus 2 over x. So when we plug that in here, we know that v is equal to e. The minuses will cancel out. It will be the integral of 2 over x times dx. And of course, the integral of 1 over x is the natural log of x. And the 2 can come outside. So we know that v is equal to um, e to the 2 times the natural log of x, which is equal to e to the natural log of x squared, which means it's equal to x squared. So that is equal to v. Now that we know what v is, now we need to find out what u is. And from the previous video, when we looked at the theory of how to apply this particular method, we knew that u, u was equal to the integral of r divided by v. Now in this case, r is equal to x squared times the cosine of 3x, and v is equal to x squared. So this would be equal to the integral of r, which is x squared times the cosine of 3x divided by x squared. Of course, we're going to need a dx. Then you can see that x squares cancel out, which means we need a differential, which is 3dx. So this would be equal to 1 third times the integral of the cosine of 3x times 3dx, where 3dx is the, is the differential of the angle 3x. So now we can go ahead and integrate that. So we know that therefore u is equal to, remember that the derivative of the sine is the cosine, therefore the integral of the cosine is the positive sine. So this would be u is equal to 1 third times the sine of 3x plus of course a constant of integration. Now we can go ahead and plug that back in here. We'll write the v first so we know that y is equal to v which is equal to x squared times u, and u is equal to one third, one third times the sine of 3x plus a constant of integration, and we could probably just go ahead and leave it like that. And that will then be the solution to this differential equation. If you want to check to see if it's correct, all you have to do is take the derivative of this, plug it in here for y prime, then plug this in here for y, and then you'll see that the left side will indeed equal to the right side. And that might be a nice little exercise for you to try. But again, how did we find the solution to this using the method of variation of parameters? Well, what we did was saying that the solution to a linear first order differential equation that is non-homogeneous can be written as the product of u times v, where v is the solution to the homogeneous part which can be written as e to the minus integral of f of x dx. Remember that f is what's in front of the y here. In this case, it's a minus 2x. When we plug that in here, notice that the minuses will cancel out. We integrate that, and we get v is equal to x squared. Now to find u, again, we remember that u was equal to the integral of r divided by v. v was found here to be x squared. r was x squared times the cosine of 3x, which is right here. The x, is, x squares cancel out. We integrate that. We plug that in here for u. We interchanged v and u, put v first, u second, because we can't forget about the constant of integration. And that's then the solution to this differential equation. And that's how it's done, using the method of variation of parameters.